This is a circle divided into six sides, a hexagon. So 360 degrees divided by six is 60 degrees. Connect dots from the hip to the hip. Draw a line, divide it in half, and there's our common run. This is our working angle that we always need to calculate our rafter to run this hip lane line all the way across here. Create the same working angle here, but put a 90 degree angle up here. So this is the hip, this is the common here. Now, if you'll look, this is an Islamic arc. So this is a tower roof, hexagonal tower roof with curved rafters. Generated this curved rafter by connecting, deciding the rise and run and connecting from the common rafter and plan view to the rise, the overall rise, dividing in half, and then doing an outside arc and an inside arc. Generated that whole thing. Then took the common rafter and plan view and divided it into equal spaces. The more spaces, the more accurate. Square it down and square it up on them. So they ran through the arc. Square down till they ran through the hip rafter in plan view, and they've become elongated. Equal distance apart here and there, but these are a little bit further apart because the hip is clearly longer than the common rafter. Squared off of those all the way down around them all wild, went up here and measured one at a time. Use a piece of paper and make marks on a piece of paper. Each one of these things, wherever this line hit the, the curve that was already drawn there, I drew it down here, and made a mark, a series of marks, and connected those all, all those marks. That'll be the hip raft, curved hip rafter. That's the curved common rafter. Now we'll need jack rafters. There'll be six of each, unless we don't want this king common, we can put a, get rid of it and put a jack on either side, in which case we would draw some thickness to this one, we draw some thickness to these ones, we would measure out the on center spacing and when it hit the side of the jack rafter, we would transfer it over to the common rafter, we'd leave it there, we'd transfer the small one over to the common and the larger one over to the common and of course there'll be two or three on either side. That mark that it made on the level line, we'd transfer it to the level line here and plumb up, make a mark here. Two marks, actually. Because we, we added thickness to the hip, so when their jack hit the hip, it would leave two marks. The long point and the short point, we'd transfer them over. So over here, we'd have two marks. We'd transfer them up, and that'd be short jack, Next one would be a little bit longer. You know, the third one would be the longest jack. It's a lot of work, but that's how it's done in real time.